Hello guys, welcome to windowsreport.com. In this video, we're gonna show you how to fix the USB not working in Windows 10. The USB can either be not recognized or Windows can have problems in reading it. In this video, we're gonna show you a few easy steps to solve it. The first and the easiest solution would be to reinstall the device drivers. So to install the device drivers, you just have to press Windows plus X, then go and click on device manager. Then in this window, you just have to locate the drivers. So is the universal serial bus controllers and you have here your driver. You have to right click on it and update the driver software. You can either look online for a new driver, but it's recommended to try using this method. For the second solution, you have to stay in the device manager window and you have to expand the universal serial bus controllers. Then you have to locate the USB root hub. In my case, I'm going to locate the first and then right click on it and properties. Then I'm going to go to the power management tab and you have to uncheck this option. Allow the computer to turn off this device to save power. It's completely useless this setting, so you have to uncheck it. Then press OK and restart the computer. For the third solution, then again you have to stay in the device manager window and you have to expand the universal serial bus controllers. You'll have to right click on the first driver and click on uninstall. And you have to repeat this process for every driver out here and restart your PC. So if you're wondering what you just did, Windows will automatically look for a new driver and hopefully the problem should be solved. So for the last solution, you will need to turn off the fast startup. To do that, you have to open the control panel by pressing the Windows plus X combination and then control panel and you have to choose the power options. And then you have to click on choose what the power button does and change settings that are currently unavailable. And somewhere down here, you'll have the option to turn off your fast startup. In my case, the fast startup is not activated, so I'm not in trouble. But if you have it activated, you just have to disable it. So guys, those were the solutions presented in this video. Don't forget to check out the article down below for a few more advices. And also, don't forget to check out the tool that we have in the article. It's a very easy to use tool that would help you to solve more errors in Windows. So I'm hoping this video helped you. Don't forget to leave a like if you enjoyed it and subscribe to our channel. I was Emmanuel from WindowsReport.com. Thank you for watching.